Hello and welcome to It's Tomorrow News and I am Hena Talati. In Dehradun, Uttarakhand, situation worsened after the continuous rain of seven hours on Tuesday flooded streets and people's houses. The situation became more uncontrollable due to the cloudburst in Santala Devi area. Indian Meteorological Department had already issued the warning of heavy rains in Uttarakhand till 26th August. Along with the water, mud and big stones entered the houses. SDRF had to rescue people with the help of ropes to cross the roads. Rivers are in the spread due to the heavy rains. Even in the developed city like Dehradun, rivers started flowing on the roads. The flow of the water was so fierce that it affected the movement of the vehicles. A team of SDRF rescued at least 12 people from the IT park. The conditions of Khabarwala was even worse near the Santara Devi temple in Dehradun where due to the cloudburst twice, debris from the mountain entered many houses along with the water. Inside many houses, soil along with the stones broke inside the house by tearing the roof of the house. Following this, a 300 meter long artificial lake has formed at 7000 feet after heavy rains in Munsiari in Pitorgar district which had sparked fear of the flash floods among local residents. A cloudburst is sudden aggressive rainstorm falling for the short period of time limited to a small geographical area. Meteorologists say the rain from the cloudburst is usually of the shower type with a fall rate equal to or greater than 4.94 inches per hour. Generally, cloudbursts are associated with the thunderstorms and the air currents rushing upwards in the rainstorm hold up a large amount of water. If this current suddenly sees, the entire amount of water descends onto the small area with the catastrophic force all of a sudden and causes mass destruction. This is due to a rapid condensation of the clouds. Because of the amount of rain involved, the cloudburst can be quite dangerous, especially if it lasts for several hours. Flooding is common with the cloudburst sweeping over the people, animals and land on its way. Topographical conditions like steep hills favor the formation of these clouds. Water flowing down the steep slopes brings debris, boulders and uprooted trees with a great velocity damaging any structure that comes in their way. It is usually occurs in the high altitude areas due to the formation of the low pressure area on the top of a mountain. A low pressure zone attracts clouds to a top of the mountain with a great force. When they hit the peak, the moisture content is released in the form of a rain. In some cloudbursts, up to 5 inches of rain can fall in an hour, often in the form of extremely large droplets. All heavy rains are not necessarily cloudbursts. They are called bursts probably because it will be believed that earlier that clouds were solid masses full of water. So these violent storms were attributed to their bursting. Cloudbursts frequently occur in Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Jammu and Kashmir during the monsoons. Cloudburst is a natural and common phenomenon in the Himalayas, especially in Garhwal and Kumau regions of the Uttarakhand. Cloudburst and associated disasters affect thousands of the people every year and causes loss of life, property, livelihood, infrastructure and environment. On July 20th, at least 7 people were killed and 17 injured and over 35 missing after cloudburst hit the remote village of Jammu and Kashmir. Recently, cloudbursts have been reported from several places in Jammu and Kashmir, Union Territory of Ladakh, Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh. A 2017 study of the cloudburst in the Indian Himalayas noted that most of the events occurred in the month of July and August and several studies have shown that climate change will increase the frequency and intensity of the cloudburst in many cities across the globe. Cloudburst like events have hit Uttarakhand since May 3rd and have caused considerable damage in the four hilly districts of Tehri Garhwal, Rudraprayag, Uttarkashi and Chamoli. Uttarakhand is highly prone to cloudburst events. 
19 of 30 major cloudburst events reported from the southern rim of the Himalayas in the Earth Science Review study occurred in Uttarakhand. In 2019, there was a cloudburst event in Chamoli district, while there was a dozen of these events in 2018. But the officials report to these events have been slow. In January 2021, Indian Meteorological Department and the state government installed a Doppler weather radar in Mukteshwar in Kumau, which had been in the pipeline for many years. The reason for the installation is to predict cloudburst and other extreme rainfall events, further generating alerts through early warning systems. The plan was set in a place after the devastating Kedarnath cloud burst in 2013 that killed more than 5,000 people in the region. Doppler weather radars are ideal for near real time tracking of the potential cloud bus, especially if they have a network which allows them to track winds and moisture. There are plans to install two more Doppler weather radars in Dhanalti. Terry Garwal District and Pauri Garwal District. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news Hena Talati. For more weather updates like this, and please subscribe our channel.